are watching Lit Happens, Saskatchewan showcase of the literary talent of the province. And we have a very exciting guest today. We have Paulette Millis, who has become almost like a nutritional guru of Saskatchewan. And, and she's done some really amazing things in that regard. But uh, first of all, welcome to the show, Paulette. Hi, Wes. I'm really excited about you being here today. Um, you and I have been communicating for a while trying to get you up here, so <laughs> this is great. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, now, we're going to talk about uh, your newer book, Eat Away Illness. But first, can we just really briefly touch on your first book, Cooking sure. Your Way to Health? Cook Your Way to Health. Sure. Yeah. First of all, I guess I want to know what made you write it? What drove you to do what you do? I never imagined that I would write. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and uh, as I was counseling and working with people and teaching them about nutrition, they kept saying, put that in a book, put that in a book. I want that recipe in a book because I was changing all the recipes to all yeah. healthy ingredients. Yeah. <clears throat> so instead of um, keeping on, you know, giving them handouts, I put it in a book. Nice. And it started selling and mm -hmm. it sold like 8,000 copies. <laughs> Nice. And so then I made sure that it was gluten and dairy free. And then I decided that I wanted people to know all the theory that I was teaching. So that's how I led to the next book. Great. And, and this might, that's probably a good time. Let's talk about the new book, Eat Away Illness, because it's sort of exploding. I, I mean, I see reviews of it everywhere and people are really talking about it. So just enlighten us. What, what, What's been the re response been to it, and uh, and what's it all about? I've been really happy with the response. Good. And I think uh, the title. Yeah. I was told by somebody from CBC that my title was what was catching people. Mm -hmm. um, people want to get rid of their illnesses, mm -hmm. and you know that catches them. But I think the other thing is it's very simple. I've tried to keep it very simple, so it's half theory, and I put the theory on one side, and I put recipes on the nice. other as just a different format and people can be making something and reading a little bit of theory and I'm a counselor as well so I know that people learn by seeing the same thing over and over and over or just little bits at a time rather than some big tomb of a nutrition book yeah. so this way they get to see a little bit of something every day when they're cooking something and it, it just sits it's, it, it sort of goes in so I like to say it's a kitchen manual mm -hmm. and half of it is all about the theory of nutrition and I'm a, I'm a holistic nutritional consultant, so that means that everything is whole foods, there's nothing processed, there's no white flour, there's no sugar whatsoever. It's all about healing the body. So I give all kinds of charts in there on proteins and carbs. I give information on how to cook beans and grains. I give all the theory about protein, the theory about fats, and then a whole bunch of other things as well. It covers hormone imbalance, it covers supplements, so a lot of simple things for people that want to heal their body. And do you find, uh, do you find society in general is a lot more interested in natural healing, uh, more so than they used to be, and proper nutrition and, and the whole nine yards? I'm amazed at the last year and a half. Yeah? You know, I struggled when I was doing my first book, finding people that wanted to do something for themselves and not just take drugs. Now they're just, I just think everyone's interested. I was at McNally a while ago and we just packed the place. I did a little free talk nice. on brain food and I couldn't, Im I couldn't believe how many people came out to hear that. That's you know, awesome. people are really getting interested in taking charge of their own body. Nice. Yeah. And I wish to just say it's a very easy book um, because of the way it's formatted. It's a very easy book to read and cook with at the same time. It's mm -hmm. a feel good book. It right. doesn't feel daunting to read it or anything like that. No, and I've so. got fairly large print. Yeah. You know, so it, I've made it easy and I put good paper so that it's not going to deteriorate in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is important. So those kind of things I've been told, you know. <laughs> yeah. 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 You learn a few things you along learn a few the way. Things, yeah. Now, all this being said, where in the province can viewers find the books? Well, McNally for sure. Um, Mom's to Bulk Foods on 22nd Street. Right. Mainly through me. Uh, uh, I like it if people phone me. Phone you. Yeah, <laughs> phone me, you know, that's at my office. Um, yeah. You can get it off my website. Yeah, and what is your website? www.healingwithnutrition.ca Nice. So you can purchase it there. And I believe uh, Turning the Tide has carried it. They have. On yep. Broadway mm -hmm. Avenue, that's a great right. little bookstore yep. too. Yep. Yeah. There's so, probably others, but I can't think of them at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, now, uh, one thing before we go is I, you have such a beautiful energy about you. I, I can't help thinking this, this isn't the end of you. <laughs> What's next? Well, I'm bringing out a book this year. It's mm -hmm. actually going to be three this size. Oh. That's called What Your Doctor Doesn't Tell You About Foods. And it's a compilation of articles that I wrote on food for the last 12 years for the Whole Life magazine. Nice. So they've been published, and I've had such positive response to those articles. I thought I'd put them in book form. Great. Uh, and I'm also doing uh, Eat Away Illness. I'm or, sorry, Eat Away Diabetes. Oh. I'm starting uh, Eat Away Diabetes, similar but smaller. Nice. And I also want to do one, I've been asked by many people to do one about children's lunches. Oh. Kids' lunches. So I think I might do that. Oh, you've got a few <laughs> irons in the fire. Yeah. Yeah. I have to quit work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when can we watch for uh, any of this in the near future? Those three will be this year. The nice. What Your Doctor Doesn't Tell You will be out this year. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, that's probably all the time we have, but uh, I just want to tell viewers to just go out there and check out your books because they're, <laughs> they're just beautiful books and there's so much learning to them. So, yeah, I just want to thank you for being here. It was so terrific. Thank you so much. You bet. That's all the time we have today for Lit Happens. If you enjoyed today's episode, you can watch previous episodes on the Shaw uh, Cable website. You can watch them on my website, westfunk.ca, and you can go to our Facebook page and like us. So I will see you next time on Lit Happens. <laughs>